Hey everyone, Kelly Money here with Nanlite USA, and today we are gonna talk about light painting. Specifically, we're gonna talk about light painting with the Pablo 226C. Now, if you don't already know about this guy, we are gonna link some iCards in the video so that you can check it out yourself. But in this video, we are specifically going to look at how to use it as a light painting tool within photography. So I recruited a good friend of mine, Mr. Matt Hill, who actually teaches a lot about this stuff at National Parks at Night. And he's gonna basically take us into his thought process when it comes to light painting. So what is light painting? Matt had this great definition where he said you can really think of it in two different ways. You can either think of it as pointing the light at your subjects just to expose that subject. So if you have a car in a desert and you're doing a long exposure shot, just basically shining a light onto the car so that it's illuminated within that shot. As opposed to light writing, which is pointing the light source at the lens and at the camera, in which case if you're pointing it and you're moving, you're creating trails of light and writing something in the sky. Uh, and we wanted to do a little bit of both of those things. So the first thing we did was we basically did experiments inside of Matt's studio in Catskill, New York. So Matt did his first setup with the definition of light painting in mind. He basically used both Pava tubes in the different ways that he defined light painting as. He took one of them and made that a consistent light uh, with kind of like a purple hue to it. And he made that a key light that just illuminated the subject. He then took the Pablo 226C that he wanted to light paint with or light write with and attached that to a boom pole. And he created kind of like this light writing tool that we ended up using throughout all of the different shoots. And that allowed him to kind of go behind the subject and write behind the subject and create patterns behind the subject. And in this setup, it's a great example of how to be able to kind of illuminate a subject, but then also incorporate some light writing inside of that frame as well. The next thing Matt wanted to do after we did our initial experiment is he kind of actually wanted to decrease the intensity of the light, and he also wanted to add a little bit more texture and a little bit more shape to it. So he came up with this really cool idea of taking some gaff tape and creating strips of gaff tape to actually cut up the lights a little bit. So one of the pompa tubes he took and he created some vertical lines, and then the other one he took and he created some horizontal lines. And we just kind of played inside of the studio with some different ways of utilizing them as writing tools and creating different shapes and different stripes and just different feelings and textures. And he came out with some really cool shots. So Matt decided as we're experimenting in the studio to take the two model heads that we've been using throughout the different experimentations we were doing and basically create like a mirror image of it. So he put the foam head under the surface we were using and actually glued it to the bottom and then took the glass head and put that on top. And so he did a bunch of funky lighting scenarios with that and it ended up looking really cool and had kind of like this weird mirror image effect that he was going for. As we're in the studio, again, the main theme of being in the studio that day was really to just experiment and see what we could make happen with the Pavo tubes. So one of the things Matt decided to do was to actually incorporate some Christmas lights as well. So he actually um, spun some Christmas lights around the Pavo tube that we had on the boom stick. And then he put some uh, sheer curtain over that and then proceeded to kind of like light paints behind the subject with those diffusion and extra lighting mixed into it. And then he also decided to take that and put it into the glass head that we had. So we have actually a shot where you have the twinkly lights and the sheer curtain and all this stuff inside of the glass head while Matt's kind of light painting on the subject and behind the subject. I, I really liked the effect that the light had on the glass head. The glass head was really reflective and it had this like glossy weird texture to it. So Matt did so many different ways of just kind of illuminating it. He created special effects with the Pavo tube to see what would happen. Uh, it just really kind of reflected the light in a really interesting way. And it just looked almost like the, the face had different expressions or different moods. Like some of the pictures even look, well, downright creepy. 
because he was able to kind of light it in a way that just made it look like dark and mysterious and something out of a horror movie. So after we were done experimenting in the studio and pushing the Pablo tube to its limits, we decided to graduate to our human subject, Molly. And we went to a location shoot in a beach near Catskill, New York. So this was a lot of fun because we were able to take a lot of what we learned in the studio and kind of apply it to the portrait that Matt wanted to take of Molly during Blue Hour. Matt had this idea of mixing basically strobe light and continuous light to kind of create a portrait with some light writing. So he was able to use a speed light to kind of be the main light for Molly. And then he used the Pava Tube 26C with the wand that he basically created for the studio uh, to light paint around her and by her. And he created these like really ethereal, surreal images by the water, in the water. Um, and it was so nice to see kind of like this blue atmosphere around her. And then he was able to really play with the Pavo tube and use it as a light writing tool and make these different shapes and these different textures. Um, these are a lot of like my favorite images I think that Matt has created in terms of light painting. I really think that he thrives with with doing portraits like this. And a lot of the stuff he created was very ethereal and surreal and really kind of dreamlike. So that is our light painting tutorial with the Pavo Tube 26C. If you guys have any comments or questions or if there are any tutorials you wanna see us do, please comment below in our comments section. We would love to hear from you. And thanks so much for joining us today. Have a good one.